Hello everybody, I'm here with a Singer 477, that's the model number. It's a basic straight stitch and zigzag sewing machine. And right now I'm in the process of rewinding a bobbin. Okay, so when you want to do that, you have your thread come from the back through this little section here, all the way down, down to here, and then you turn and go backward this way and go up and then through the little hole, then back through the actual uh, spindle right here. And then you want to push this over and then you want to unlock this right here. Sorry for my disinfectant, it's in the way. But unlock this right here. This is disengaging the sewing machine. So the sewing machine will not run when it's making this bobbin. Okay, and then you hit your presser foot and you can watch it fail. And you see it moving up there to here. I'm sorry, I'm in my dining room again. My workroom's a mess and I haven't got back to it. And you can watch it, you can see it feeling back and forth it goes. And you guys see it there going back and forth? And you can see it going back and forth. I just got done fixing this lady's sewing machine. Oh, now we'd have nothing in there. Should be enough in there to run it now. And I'll get some new thread to run the whole thing. Let's see, get this. Come on up. up. There we go. And that's done. And then you turn, and you put this over here, okay? Because now this thing wasn't running. Now to re-engage it, you have to turn this back to the, well, back, I, go, I guess forward. No, back, yeah, backward from the machine this way, and it should engage that sewing machine. Yep, see? Now I'm going to get back with you in a minute, all right? Okay, now I got the bobbin and you want it to run like a waterfall, like towards you. See, if you put this towards you, uh, don't you roll away. And you want, nope, <laughs> you want it to, to come down this way. Okay, so when you put it in here, it drops in like this. It's called a drop in and you do it that way. I got to pull this back so you can see. I'm going to bump the camera like crazy. I'm going to try to do this looking through a camera. Okay, there's a little slot here. You need to go back to that slot. And then pull it back to this slot, okay? And that locks it in, okay? So hold on. There you go. Got it locked in. Now it's pulled back to here. So I pulled it back. And then it's into that little slot right there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but so you see the little opening right here. You put it in that little opening, okay? Right there. And it slides back into that little slot. Hello, everybody. I'm here with a singer um, for. 77 model number. It's a straight stitch and zigzag machine. It can do a drop stitch and a basic zigzag and it can do buttonholes. Okay, that's all this thing can do. And then there's a re rewinder for the bobbin and I went over that with you in the beginning. And this is how you thread this one. You go from here to here, down to there, through this. But before that you want to put this foot up in the highest position okay doesn't even have to worry about the needle just the foot because it opens these chambers and gets really loose see how loose that is it's really loose okay and then you want to go up and then back this way and then back this way so this little little looper thing here see the little looper thing will catch and then that goes then you have to put through your uptake you got to thread this because there's no slide in it's a thread in and then you come down here and then you hook it into this hook it has a groove in it that goes down this way, so it follows it down this way into this hookup and then into your needle. Yes, my needle is slightly down, so you can't see it. Okay, um, I've been trying to adjust this machine to get it to run really good. When you get on the zigzag on this machine, since it's an older machine and it was stuck in kind of in time, um, you might have to kind of push this to get this moving to get the zigzag to work properly because I have issues with it, but there's nothing I can do about it. So anyway but it's sewing straight stitch perfectly i had since i'm doing denim i moved this to about a seven and when you want to move this you move this like one gidget every time but this has got to be down and this has got to be in the highest position so in other words like that that's your highest position because your your uh, uptake is in the highest position that means your needle's in the highest position okay and then you can move this okay because right now i have it set for um between seven and, uh, or seven and eight, between seven and eight, okay? And I have this moved up a little bit so it feeds it better. So this is your pressure, pressure foot um, pressure. So it pushes this foot harder down onto the feed dogs to make it move better, okay? And I see I did not get it into the little, little thing right there. There's a little, can you see it? There's a little hookup right there. I don't know if I can just get this with my finger. Let's see if I can do it. 
and you put it in there. Did I get it in there? I can't see it. I hate when, you, when your eyes start going bad again. You get ahead and have the surgery, okay? And now I'm getting scar tissue and I can't see very well. And they said that they can help me by zap, zapping the scar tissue away. So we haven't got there to get that done yet. So I'm having a hard time trying to see. Oh, well, it's supposed to be in that little slot and I can't get it in there. I need a, I need better glasses or something. But it goes into that slot. I'll have to do that later. But anyway, it's, um, it's stitching okay. Um, your zigzag's a little on the loose side, but... You can, you can tighten this up even more. So right now I just want to do straight stitch. So this is how it sounds. And we'll go over a little of the buttons here. And then that's it. And then you can push this down right here to, yeah, my hands are kind of weak today. And then you can make it go in reverse and then pull it and it pops back out. And then it goes this way. Now, I found out what this knobby thing is for. It says F for forward, okay? And R for reverse, so you can have this thing go in reverse the entire time, or you put it on darn, which then you can darn, and then you can put it in zigzag, and it'll darn, and basically say, really, you have to do all the leading, though, because it's going to drop the feed dogs, so you have to do all the work, okay? Don't forget. Um, let's see here. These, This is your width. This is the position you want your needle in. I like middle, so I can handle it better. Um, this is your length. It does zigzag. It, um, let's see, this is the turn off and on button. And uh, I already went over this. And then I had light bulbs here. I just gave her a new light bulb, so it's going to run much better. So I think that's about all I have to go over. Um, I uh, gave her a new spindle. That she has this one. And this is the one I gave her. I made them so you can take them out. Like if you're traveling, you don't want to lose them. You can take them out. And tape them right here, okay? Because I hate when people glue them and then they break off. And then I have to drill them out. And then I have to get them. It's so much easier if we just take them out. Now, this one won't come out because it's been glued. So that one will eventually break out. Break out, And I don't like it when it does that. Other than that, the machine is in great working condition. I mean, you can see the stitching we're doing. Yep, stitches are getting bigger because it takes time for it to run. The more you run it, the better the stitches. See the stitches? I don't know, you can't see the stitches, but green on blue. Hmm, was I not thinking when I did that? I should have used uh, yellow or something. And if you use knit, okay, knit on a regular needle like this. This is a needle. It says right here. Let's see if I can find it. These are the needles I use. They're Singer, okay. And this one is for, hmm, ultra lock. No, no, no. It should tell you. Um, I think it's for just like... And 14 means for everything but not knit. You have to buy the knit ones. I think that's 240, 245. Let's see, these are 22. So this is 200, 2022, 14, all purpose. And then you have different needles for different things. So if you're going to use knits, don't try to use this, the standard on a knit because this is what you get. You get this like wavy look. Um, on here is the front. Looks normal. But on the bottom, it'll give you that wavy look because the material is knit and it stretches all over the place, okay? And if you're going to do cotton, like a two-ply cotton, this is a denim, but you can run cottons on this way. I have it set up too because um, it's the two-ply. Now, if you're doing more than two plies, like three-ply, then you want to make this push down harder. It means make it move it up a little higher. Make sure your needle's in the highest position so nothing gets... I always say... Move the needle in the highest position, foot to stay down or up, to move anything. So that way you don't forget and break the needle off. And so I, I'm going to leave it set up like this so she can take it home with her. But it just, you know, whenever you're doing the zigzag, remember, it's kind of, this the clutch in here, it's a little slow because it's been sitting for too long. And you might have to move the hand wheel a little forward to get the thing to move, okay? Don't worry, it'll, it'll work itself out because I did lube it and... Uh, I put like oil and grease in different areas. So it's going to take a while for everything to get mixed in there and everything will work fine. So don't worry if you're freaking out, if something goes wrong. I glued her a little sticker in here um, because I, you know, she could buy the little remnant, but it's expensive. And I thought, well, I'll just copy and make a sticker. It'll look fine. <laughs> you can't even tell. Anyway, and I have to get some my electrical tape. Something has eaten this. It looks like a mouse has been trying to chew on it or something. So I'm going to put some electrical tape on that to keep anybody from getting shocked. 
Um, it's not deep enough to worry about getting shocked, but I really rather put something electrical tape. I gotta find it. Don't know what I did with my electrical tape. I don't have any more white. I only have black now. Um, although I just need to go get some more. But if you want, if people want needles, I do carry needles. I mean, this one shows you it's for like a uh, um, overlock. So you can see the overlock sewing machine, but it will run in these too on the older machines. Um, that's why it says you, you know, but it, it, you know, I have different kinds. I have overlocked, I have regular, I have, uh, all kinds of them. I just have to reorder some more. I found out I sold a whole bunch and I don't have as much as I thought I had. Anyway, have a blessed day and I am revving up for my membership thing to go through. I want well, to see at least five people. If I get five people in my membership, I am going to start doing those, um, exclusive things about teaching you how to use your machine a lot better. These are just more like a review on how to use this machine, but I'm going to go over more in depth on how the machine actually works and why you need to do the things you need to do. Like if you need your tension and the tension is not working right or somebody's played with it and unscrewed it and unmessed it up, I can teach you how to put this all back together and then you won't have any issues and it will run so much better. But you just have to remember the the um this has got to be in the highest position and this has got to be down move this because it has to click inside there if it doesn't click inside it will not give you the right tension and then you have spaghetti underneath or you have issues on top you know like when i was first running it i had lots of spaghetti see spaghetti that's not good um it looks like it's normal up on top but on the bottom it's doing that it means that this is messed up so you need to reset it but if you messed it up too much or taken it apart, then that's when you need me, and that's what the membership's going to give you. You're going to get your, you're going to get more in depth in sewing machines. So I think it'd be kind of fun. And then I'll teach more into like what I do when I do with my chickens. You know, when they get sick or something's an issue, I'm going to videotape different things about that too. So you can pick what you want to watch. Okay. Well, have a blessed day, and hope you get something out of this sewing machine. And I hope you enjoy your day. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. <laughs>